Hello YouTube, Statue Hunters Hit 5 here, we're back, um, Statue Hunters Bags and Boards, episode 87, uh, it's a new comic book Wednesday, August 21st, 2019, um, didn't quite make it to all my normal regular comic stops because I was on vacation with the kids, <clears throat> but, um, I did, uh, manage to hit up my local comic shop, which is close to home, Counterplay Comics, um, and I went and saw Eric, picked up a few key issues and the new comic books for the week. Uh, ended up picking up a pretty decent copy of uh, Strange Tales number 123. I think this is the first appearance of Thor um, meeting Doctor Strange. Um, so also picked up this one. Um, this is Strange Tales number 130. And it's kind of where they do a play on the Beatles with a uh, uh, thing and uh, the other guy. I think it's this Red Skull. I forget who that is. Oh, for the Human Torch, I think. Yeah, Human Torch and Thing. <laughs> Doing a spoof on the Beatles, I guess. Uh, not sure if that was also a minor first appearance of someone as well. That guy, I'm not sure. But anyway, key issue nonetheless. <clears throat> Picked up a few, picked up the whole run of Venom Lethal Protector, mainly for, uh, these are the non-key issues, two and three, but, um, <clears throat> two, three, and six were the non-key issues, uh, where is it, but obviously you have issue one, which was the key issue, and then of course, this was a few first appearances, um, of some of the symbiotes, this is issue number five. But the big issue was this one right here, with all that she's in the absolute carnage. The first appearance of Scream, uh, and a few other symbiotes' first appearances. So, those are a few nice sharp copies that I was happy to pick up for the collection. Oh, and also, end up picking up a cherry copy of Once in Future, the one per store variant. And Eric sold it to me at a very fair price, and it's in beautiful condition. Unlike the damage one I got from Harrison's, which had a little bit of a need to press, <clears throat> this one was perfect. Um, <clears throat> managed to pick up Superman um, Year One. I believe this is issue book two. And this was the uh, Frank, uh, Frank Miller cover. Uh, there's no major solicitations on this. Um, but I know that I think this one sold out. Uh, picked up uh, the variant copy of Strayed Number One. It's a Dark Horse comic. Um, basically, it's uh, in the future, a girl and her astral projecting cat revolt against an oppressive government for the betterment of the galaxy. Um, the creator released the soundtrack to coincide with the series as well. So that was the B cover. I also picked up the A cover. I ended up popping into uh, Newberry Comics and got a few of... This is the Villains variant, the Fantastic Four Villains variant of Venom number 9, which was the first appearance of uh, Eddie Brock's son, Dylan. <clears throat> and here's the A cover. They had a few of these at cover price, so I have scooped these right up, obviously, because uh, that's getting hot. Uh, I was very lucky, had to do a little driving and a little hunting, but I picked them both up at cover. Uh, got a copy, I'm not going to give any spoilers, but something big happens in this book. City of Bane, Batman, number 77. This is the A copy, probably the one you want to get. I mean, the variant was pretty cool by Clayton Crane, but A copies usually always end up retaining the most value. Um, there's the death of someone in this, supposedly, so... Uh, that's um, on fire, that book right now. Also went in, got some more key issues of Counterplay. Besides the books from the week. Picked up. Uh, these have a lot to do with the Moira Mc McTaggart thing. Um, X-Men number 125. And the other, the other one was number 126. So I've got those at a... Great price, Merrick. Picked up this beautiful copy of New Mutants 98. You all know who the first appearance of is right there. 
especially the first appearance of her, kind of. It was someone else as her, a copycat as Domino. Um, and big thing being Deadpool's first appearance. So I have one already in a 9.6. It'd be nice if this got a 9.8. Um, uh, maybe after I give it a little press it will, we'll see. And I also picked up the first copy, uh, first appearance of Binary, X-Men 164. This is a shop copy too. So happy to get both those key issues. Um, just more of a funny buy. I want to read it. Star Wars, The Return of Tag and Bink. This is issue number one of two. And actually, issue number two of two. So, happy to get those in the collection. And I picked up a few of the hidden variants, the secret variants, with, of course, um... Nightcrawler and Magic on the cover instead of the new characters. So those were hot too this week. And then picked up the regular copies of the books from the week. This was for my totally for my daughter. That's why it's still open because she's going to read it. Captain Marvel with the kitty cat. It's a Marvel action Captain Marvel number one. And then of course she's obsessed with Spider-Gwen. It's her favorite. So I got the uh, Ghost Spider number 9 because she liked the cover. So that's for her collection. Picked up the facsimile. I got this getting graded at CGC, the real deal, the actual original. Of, uh, it definitely doesn't have a $3.99 cover price on it. Of Batman number 232. Or Batman with Robin, the Team Wonder number 232. And of course, this is the first appearance of Ra's al Ghul. So pick that up. Here's the regular cover. There you see it side by side with the secret cover with the new characters. And picked up Deadpool versus, uh, Car I'm sorry, Absolute Carnage versus Deadpool. I don't know if there was any major solicitation. I picked this one up because it was Liefeld drawing Deadpool. So obviously Rob Liefeld's the creator of Deadpool. So I figured I'd definitely get this one. Um, yeah, there's no crazy solicitation about that. This was just a cover buy for me. That is just a beautiful art germ work of Vampirella. Number two. Picked up this because it was, uh, uh, you see that, you know, that's Mark Brooks. I love Mark Brooks, so it was really cool to see him do Iron Man. So that was another cover buy for me. And then I already told you about this book. Here was the A cover of Strayed. So I picked that up. Strayed number one. What else do we got here in the bag of goodies? Picked up. I I love the Spider-Man game for the PlayStation. This was one of the suits from it. This is the Gamer vs. Spider-Man City at War number six. So I picked that up. This was probably the better of the two covers. This is the variant cover of Pretty Violent number one. Picked up the regular too, but I think this one's way better, way cooler, way gruesomer. This was a total cover buy for me in Middle West, even though this is a great series. I haven't really been following it, but it's Scotty Young. But love how the smoke kind of makes it into that character's face. And following the last stop on the red line, number two, happy to pick this up. Uh, Boston based, being from Boston, I like it. <laughs> Um, I don't think there was any major solicitation about the last stop on the red line as to crazy story lines. Um, the Pretty Violent is a splatter fest intended for mature readers. That's all they really give for a solicit on that. But as far as the last stop on the red line, I do not really see any major solicits for that. Picked up, what else do we got here? Another independent comic. Um, bad reception, <laughs> a little spoof there on cell phone reception and maybe a wedding reception. Um, it says a celebrity wedding becomes a bloodbath as a killer picks, uh, killer picks of the guests one by one and brands each victim with a hashtag. <laughs> uh, I might get, watch that get option for some, so always good to have. Picked up another, I think this was the A copy of Absolute Carnage vs. Deadpool. Just been loving this series, and this is, uh, I think this was Lee and Yuck artwork, I could be wrong. Um, the Daredevil, number 10. 
Uh, maybe it says somewhere who did the art. Let me see if there was a slow set for it. Um, don't really see a slow set for it, so I'm not sure. I believe it's Lee in here. Uh, also picked up Faithless. Just been following this whole series. This is the A cover. And then I picked up, this has been a pretty good series too, Canto. Picked up number three. I believe that's the A cover. Uh, for my daughter, picked up Ghost Spider number one. It's the first solo series with Gwen Stacy, Gwen Stacy and Marvel's main continuity. So, and then I did pick up Goon number four, which came out after number five. <laughs> they released it wrong. Yeah, they released number five before number four. Um, I'm not sure if there's any major solicit for this. I don't believe there was. And what else did I grab? Picked up a copy of Headless Number One. And this is basically in 1987, a reimagined version of the Headless Horseman resurfaces to wreak havoc in Salem, Massachusetts. And its secrets about his influence in American on American history are brought to light. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> Selling masks, being a mask boy myself. And then I picked up the cardstock variant of the Goon, just because I've been buying the regular cover and the cardstock covers. Uh, what else do we got? We're down to the last few of the nitty gritty here. Picked up the variant copy of Marvel Comics Presents number eight. This was the variant cover. And I'm trying to see who it doesn't really say who did the variant. So, but basically, it's the first solo story featuring White Fox. And here's the A cover to it from Marvel Comics Presents number eight. And then, of course, another copy of the regular cover of uh, Powers of X number three. And then I had to buy this. Powers of X variant because look who's on it, my favorite female from the Marvel Universe, Emma Frost. And I love how it's kind of like all of her white costumes and then her dark costume in the back. So that rounds it off. Just wanted to give you guys a quick video. Hey, if you like the video, please give a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe and then hit that little bell next to the subscribe button when you subscribe. That way it'll let you know every time I post a new video. I always welcome you guys aboard for the ride. So uh, have a great rest of your week and weekend. All right, thanks guys, thanks for watching.